Hey, my name is Glenn. I'm the Odds Coach. Today I'm going to take you through one of the most important topics to understand as a sports better. Implied probability. Calculating implied probability is one of the most important steps you can take as a sports better to really understand the expected outcome of any particular match. It also helps illustrate the advantage that the sports book has over you and helps you look for opportunities to lower that advantage that the sports book has. There's two different ways for calculating implied probability with American odds, one for the negative side and one for the positive side. I'm going to work through a couple examples here that should help illustrate uh, what implied probability means. Uh, we'll start out with a negative odd. So negative 110 is the most common odd in sports betting. It's the odd that you're going to get in and against the spread bet uh, on either side of the bet in general. Now, this math may look a little daunting, but uh, if you remember back to your 12th grade math, uh, multiplying uh, negative uh, one by a negative number essentially just makes it positive. So really the simplification of this equation is uh, negative one times minus one ten, so that's giving us a positive one ten divided by once again our positive one ten plus hundred. So one ten plus one hundred or two hundred and ten. So we have uh, 110 divided by 210. That's going to give us 52.4, or if calculated out into a percentage, 52.4%. Now that number should be familiar to you. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, essentially this is the break-even point. If you're a minus 110, general against the, against the spread better, this is the winning percentage that you need to win at to break even on your sports bet. Uh, so what we know from that 52.4 is that uh, on both sides of it against the spread bet, we have minus 110 odds. So if we were to calculate it out for the other side of this bet, we would once again get 52.4. Well, you add those together and you get 104.8%. Now that number may seem a little weird to you, uh, because how can you have more than 100%? Well, that 4.8% is the sports book's advantage over you. And what you always want to do in every one of your sports bets is get that advantage down as low as you possibly can, uh, or look for bets where that number is as low as is possible. So. Let's work through a complete example, a money line example, uh, that'll help us uh, look at that a little more clearly. We'll start out with uh, a bet, a money line, an actual money line set of odds, plus 160 for the dog, minus 190 uh, for the favorite. Let's calculate out the plus 160. So the positive equation here, much simpler, uh, 160 plus 100 all over 100, is going to equal 100 over 260. And that's going to give you 0 0.3385, or 38.5% likelihood. Now that makes sense. Uh, you're picking a dog, a $100 bet is going to win you $160. So odds are good that um, the outcome is going to be less than 50%. Now let's quickly do the uh, negative odd, the negative 190. Uh, we have to use our equation up here, which is going to give us 190 over 190 plus 100, which is 290. And that's going to give us 65.5%. So you add these two numbers together because this is the likelihood of your particular event. Uh, that's going to give you 100 
and 4%. So the important thing to take away from this particular, uh, this particular topic is that minus 104 and minus 104.8 means that in this particular bet, the sports book has less of an advantage over you. Now, it's not telling you which side to bet. It's saying that betting on this outcome is most likely to give you the best possible return, a much better return than this minus 110, minus 110. That's the real advantage of implied probability. It's telling you the percentage of expected outcome, but it's also helping keep in check the advantage that uh, the sports book has over you. Now, if all of this math seems a little bit complex, uh, I invite you to go use the odds calculator on oddscoach.com, which really makes it as simple as just plugging in your, your implied probability numbers. But I can't stress enough, anytime you're pre plus, placing a bet, uh, particularly a money line bet, go calculate out the implied probability and you'll notice that your sports books uh, advantage over you fluctuates quite a bit. Uh, I've seen them as low as 0.87% uh, versus uh, as high as 4.95%. Uh, so you always want to try to look for bets when you're handicapping that have the lower of the um, the lower of the implied probability numbers because that's where you stand to make the most profit. Um, that's where you stand to uh, break even at a much lower rate than the 52.4%.